I've been steampunked. Oh, right in the wallet! Happy holidays, ladies and gentlemen. I am the dragon, as always, and welcome to uh, day three of the Steam Holiday Sale, a very special uh, public Steam announcement. Uh, we've got some good daily deals going on here. Uh, the Wolf Among Us is a Telltale game, and uh, from what I've seen, it looks really, really outstanding. It's based on a comic series, I believe. Um, and it's kind of like a fairy tale world. Uh, you play uh, the big bad wolf as a detective. Uh, looks really cool. It's sixteen dollars and seventy-four cents, thirty-three percent off of its normal price. Uh, from the makers of the 2012 game of the year, The Walking Dead, comes a gritty, violent, and mature thriller based on the award-winning Fables comic books. DC Comics slash Vertigo. As Big B Wolf, the Big Bad Wolf, you will discover that a Brutal, bloody murder is just a taste of things to come in a... Dot, dot, dot. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check that one out. That's one that I'm thinking about picking up. Uh, Star Wars, uh, Knights of the Old... Or, yeah, KOTOR, right? Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, the Sith Lords. I actually never played any of the KOTOR games. I heard that they're awesome. I need to pick it up. Uh, it's only $5. 50% off of its normal price. Five years after the events from the award-winning Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the Sith Lords have hunted the Jedi to the edge of extinction and are on the verge of crushing the Old Republic. So, uh, definitely check that one out as well. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is $3.74 at 75% off of its normal price. And it, I, I've always thought Counter-Strike Go, I'm like, what, is this supposed to be some mini version? Some, like, mobile version or something? Uh, let's see. Counter-Strike Go- Ugh, words. Counter-Strike Global Offensive will expand upon the team-based action gameplay that it pioneered when it was launched 12 years ago. CSGO features new maps, characters, and weapons, and delivers updated versions of the classic CS content, DE Dust, etc. I was never a big Counter-Strike player, um, uh, but if that's your thing, I know it was a huge, huge thing, so, uh, if that's your thing and you do not yet have it, it's $3.74, so grab it. Sleeping Dogs, I've heard lots of great things about. Uh, $4.99, 80% off of its normal price. Welcome to Hong Kong, a vibrant neon city teeming with life, whose exotic locations and busy streets hide one of the most powerful and dangerous criminal organizations in the world, the Triads. Okay. Um, if I recall correctly, it's kind of an open-worldy sort of thing, um, but uh, I can't really recall. Uh, that's another one that I kind of want to pick up. I mean, hell, it's only five bucks. Oh, and that's how the Steam sales get you. Starforge is $9.99, 50% off its normal price. I have no, I don't know anything about this. Uh, so let's see. A next-gen sandbox experience, Starforge is a game about gathering resources, building bases, crafting anything you want, and surviving on an alien planet. Earth's star is dying, and humanity transferred as much technology and resources as possible and left on a one-way mission to populate another... Da, da, da. Looks like that's an early access title. Um, I, now that I think about it, I think I have heard of this. It's, it's Minecraft in space. Uh, Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. $4.99, 75% off of its normal price. I remember the days of the LAN party, ages and ages ago, when you used to actually have to pick up, pack up your computer and bring it to a friend's house uh, in order to play games with other people and you'd stay awake for an entire weekend, and, uh, yeah, it, and Age of Empires games would stretch on for six hours. Uh, let's see, in Age of Empires 2 HD Edition, fans of the original game and new players alike will fall in love with the classic Age of Empires 2 experience. Explore all the original single-player campaigns from both Age of Kings and the Conqueror's expansion. Choose from 18 civilizations spanning over, uh, da da da. Forced is one that I definitely don't know anything about. That's $7.49, 50% off of its normal price. Forced is a one to four player co-op arcade action RPG with puzzles and tactical elements. You are cast as slaves in the toughest fantasy gladiator school of them all, condemned to fight to the death all the while attempting to win your freedom. Right on. Uh, Darkstalkers 2, or yeah. <laughs> I always do that with Darksiders titles. Darksiders 2, where you play as death. Um, I loved the first Darksiders, but I did not play all the way through it, unfortunately, because I have a terrible habit of not playing games from beginning to end. Um, 
I started playing Darksiders 2 when I was really, really drunk and didn't, uh, couldn't make any sense of what I was doing, so I stopped playing and haven't uh, started playing it again since. Um, I've heard wonderful things about this game. Uh, the Darksiders series in general is a really, really outstanding series. I hope that someone ended up buying up that property. I know it was at risk of, of just kind of fi uh, fizzling out, uh, but I hope that someone who will take good care of it uh, purchased that IP. You play as Death. Uh, awakened by the end of days, Death, the most feared of the legendary Four Horsemen, embarks upon a quest to restore mankind and redeem his brother's name. Along the way, the horseman discovers that there are far worse things than an earthly apocalypse, and that an ancient grudge may threaten all. Da, da, da. Uh, Ace of Spades Battle Builder. Ace of Spades is a game that I bought and played a little bit of, but it's one of those, uh, if I recall correctly, it's, it's only online multiplayer, and it's uh, inspired by Minecraft in its aesthetic, and you can craft guns and things like that, and uh, it's a fully destructible world uh, that uh, you fight in. Uh, so let's see here. Say hello to the creative shooter. Ace of Spades Battle Builder is the first person shooter that lets you create your battleground, destroy it, then create it again. Up to 32 players choose from seven unique classes and jump into team-based multiplayer mayhem across an endlessly evolving... Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I'm not clicking through on any of these. I want to try and be brief. Uh, the flash sales for today ending in three hours, so by the time this gets up, you will have very little time to uh, act on these sales. Binding of Isaac is $1.24. Uh, everything out of Team Meat is outstanding. Binding of Isaac is a roguelike um, and very, very twisted, and some people, I mean, just really, really uh, uh, number game that thing. I mean, they crunch this game. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I've seen a whole bunch of YouTubers just go really crazy on this. Uh, XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Um, I have it, haven't yet played it. Um, I've played the old XCOM games and haven't played any of the new stuff, but I've heard awesome things. It's only 10 bucks. It's 75% off of its normal price. Actually, let's read the Binding of Isaac, I suppose. When Isaac's mother starts hearing the voice of God demanding a sacrifice be made to prove her faith, Isaac escapes into the basement facing droves of deranged enemies, lost brothers and sisters, his fears, and eventually his mother. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. XCOM Enemy Unknown will place you in control of a secret paramilitary organization called XCOM. As the XCOM commander, you will defend against a terrifying global alien invasion by managing resources, advancing technologies, and overseeing combat strategies and individual unit tactics. Um, from what I've seen, it's very true to the game style of, of the old uh, XCOM games. So if uh, you are around for those, you'll want to pick this one up. Craft the World, I know nothing about. It's $10.04, 33% off of its normal price. Craft the World is a unique sandbox strategy game. The mix of Dungeon Keeper, Terraria, and Dwarf Fortress. Explore a random generated world populated by dangerous creatures. Build a Dwarf Fortress, gather resources, and craft all the items, weapons, and armor you need. And this one looks like it's an early access. Um, I like the games that they're uh, citing, so maybe I'll give that one a try. Uh, again, though, it's uh, since it's early access, uh, it's low discount, uh, it may be worth waiting, uh, unless you're super excited uh, in particular for this game. Deus Ex Human uh, Revolution Director's Cut is $5 at 75% off of its uh, normal price. Um, I haven't played this yet, but uh, uh, from what I've heard, the only real downsides uh, to Deus Ex is, uh, or this one, is uh, the boss fights, because the boss fights alone were um, uh, outsourced to a another company to be designed and totally don't fit the flow of the rest of the game. The rest of the game, I've heard, is outstanding, so. You play Adam Jensen, an ex-SWAT specialist who's been handpicked to oversee the defensive needs of one of America's most experimental biotechnology firms. Your job is to safeguard company secrets, but when a black ops team breaks in and kills the very scientists you were hired to protect, uh, da, 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 there's more to that plot line. Uh, community choice right now. Community choice is going to uh, tick over uh, in, with the flash sales. Community choice is Sword of the Stars, The Pit. 
And it's $1.39, uh, 80% off of its normal price tag. A deadly plague ravages your world. Your last hope, a legendary alien facility dug deep into the Feldspar Mountains. A massive pit built by the ancient soul If the pit really exists, there might be something left. Something that will give your doctors a fighting chance at the cure. Seems interesting. Um, casual title, huh? Hmm. From It didn't uh, uh, look terribly casual when, when I looked at it, but yeah. And I have voted on Red Faction Guerrilla uh, because uh, Red Faction Guerrilla is a really good game. Uh, in fact, oh wait, no wait. I probably shouldn't have done Guerrilla because Guerrilla was the bad one, wasn't it? Guerrilla was the more recent one. Was it? I can't remember. Yeah, I think Guerrilla was the bad one. I wish I could change my vote now. Wait, can I? Nope. Anyway, uh, those are your Steam sales uh, for the day. Whoops. And, um, yeah, hopefully uh, you uh, see some that uh, strike your fancy. And uh, it's uh, time to uh, empty those wallets, I suppose, and uh, get a little steampunked. See you next time.